If everyone's doing the same thing, life is a hell of a lot easier and more pleasant than it is if everybody's doing different things. I don't mean that generally. I don't want to turn into some, you know, sort of communist China. I mean in the context of a, of a very specific catastrophe. Oh, and that's it, isn't it? Crikey, it's taken me a while to work that out. So what the headbangers are doing is transporting their ideologies about things like, you know, personal freedom or autonomy or an, uh, fears of an over-authoritative government from normal times to abnormal times. Whereas those of us with our eyes open are recognizing that in abnormal times, you need abnormal policies. And the government is caught between both of those stools. Because, you know, people talking about masks being muzzles, they're just nuts, right? But in normal times, <laughs> if you were told to wear a mask in public, it would be crazy. In the middle of a global pandemic, it's not remotely crazy at all. But somehow that little bit of brain, that little synapse, that little connection hasn't happened. So people going on about muzzles or people talking about how they're not going to wear a mask in a public place and keep Britain free and mind control. They've just not recognized. And that's why, of course, the hoax stuff then comes in. So in all this, what crikey, that's chicken and egg. What comes first? Subscription to the nonsense that this isn't real or subscription to the nonsense that we shouldn't respond to it in ways that we'd never consider employing during normal times. Oh, I love it when that happens.